I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. I'm honestly tempted to grind for this pack, right? You know what I'm saying? Copper... Oof, this one is so good. Wait, available for seven days? Wait, hang on. Is this going away? I think the other one is actually pretty decent too, like the other Steam promotion thing. Because the um, the other thing is really juicy. It's It gives you like a bunch of stuff as well, I think. Where is it? Ah, yeah, the Steam welcome pack. Yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's seven days too? Oh no. I actually really want this though. So I need 3,200 gems. That's tough. That is tough. So we're going to have to farm. We're going to have to farm 600 gold. 700 gold. 100 gold a day. On a totally new account. <laughs> oh man, that is tough. That actually is a little bit spicy, to be honest. If we want both of those. Okay, I might do it. I might actually go for that. That is a fun challenge. I do like it. And gem prices will go down because of the, um, the ear fetishists. Uh, will obviously eventually wear off because everyone is going absolutely berserk for these pointed ears right now. So as soon as people are done like role playing as Legolas, the price is going to go down, right? The price will drop. Goodness me. It's time to blast. <laughs> Do I have anything else to sell? I think I've sold basically everything. That's no good. This is actual pain. And I'm not going to do raids, guys. Yeah, I know. I could make it super easy cheesy by doing like raid CMs um, for the first time. But that's ridiculous. It's absurd. It, it's too, too easy. I'm cheating too much. Oh, no. We're just going to have to suck it up, guys. It's time to blast. It's time to go hard. Are you guys ready for gold farming insanity? I can't do tier fours. No, I don't think fractals are actually super good right now. Um, they might be okay, um, but they're not amazing, honestly, because I can only do tier one and tier two. I only, I have no AR. I have literally zero AR, guys. Uh, I have nine, so I can't do high tier fractals. All right. Gamers, I think we're going to go for it. I actually might go for that, the grind. The 700 gold grind. Where's the meta train right now? I, guys, I've got to go. I've got to get on the meta train. Simple as that. We've got to start blasting. Okay, Octovine it is. Let's do this. We're going to pick up the meta train at the Octovine in 10 minutes. So what do you guys think? Will I succeed? Will I actually make the grind? I'm going to go unhinged mode, guys. We're going to go fully unhinged. Boom! Octovine done. We have lean techniques and gliding. Really nice upgrade there, actually, so we can go a lot faster. It's a bit not good, though, because we just fall out of the sky faster. Now, we really need to get to that advanced gliding is going to be the important thing. We need to try and tag this tarnished traitor as well. Let's make sure we get that. I don't think I, I can't loot the chest on it, but you still get the uh, you can still get the credit, basically. So it's still worth. There we are. And we can get the hero point as well at the same time. What is the... Uh, let's actually see what the meta train is. Okay, so it is Octovine, Ooze, Drakkar, Dragonstorm, Palawadan, Marionette, Gang Wars, Dragon's End, Scything. Yeah, so we can basically do everything else after the Ooze. So we can't do the Ooze, we Ooze, we lose, but we can do everything else after that. So we're basically in really good shape to finish the rest of this meta train here. Let's do this. This is actually a really good thing to do too, because I actually need Ice Brood Saga experience. That will help us earn even more gold with strikes. In fact, I think doing this Drakkar will get us our tier 3 done here. And then we can do the uh, the final tier, which will be the Vigilance. Or rather, the final Master, which is the Vigilance one. This is actually a really good thing to do. Which is fantastic. We love to see that. We really do. Big experience. I'm actually tempted to almost like slap on an XP booster as well, to be honest. 
Maybe I will do. I mean, I, I want to see. You might as well drop the the XP boost. Otherwise, it's gonna be one of those things that you just never use, right? And there it is. Boom. Drakkar is down. I could really use a high roll right now, Drakkar. Oh, unlucky. No high roll for me. I think we can just yeah, we can open this chest while we're here. Boom. Very nice. Look, we need everything we got. Like we really do. We need everything in our power to make gold at this point. We've got to go all in. Dragon Storm, done. Some good solid gold there. Big juicy XP and a plowed on two. Excellent stuff. Insane. Yeah. Wild. Yes. And this is Twisted Marionette. Fun fact, Twisted Marionette, actually pretty good if you can get it done quickly. So let's think about this. How many days have I actually got to farm this gold? So let's go over our mission here. Our mission is to have 3,200 gems before this runs out. So we actually have basically seven days. Exactly, or like a little bit less now than seven days. However, I have monthly AT on Saturday, which means I can't do zero to hero, at least for some of the stream. I have tea time on Sunday, which means I can't do that. And I have a day off tomorrow. So I'm losing about two days. Gem prices are cheaper on Sunday, I believe. I believe that's correct. Because uh, gem prices, uh, people buy shit on Sunday and it kind of falls off towards the end of the weekend. So we need to buy as many gems as possible on the Sunday and less on Tuesday because that's when people buy stuff. Ooh, mastery. Oh no! I don't need mastery points. Well, that's just unfortunate. Oh, I can do the skiff one though. Let's do depth charges. Boom! 70 mastery rank. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look what you've created. Nice. Good job. Did you Can you stop getting some big loot here? Now it's Dragon's I End. To to we still win anyway, though, so it's fine. Stay Good job. Away. We never fail. Except when we do. Oh, look at that. I've got to go out look at all that see. loot, guys. What is left? Boom. Very nice. Job done. Ambergris obtained. Inventory ruined. Is intended? Uh, probably not intended. But who knows? Maybe it is. Ambergris locked in. Okay, right. Now it's time for some strike missions. Gaming. Nice. I'm out of here. It's time to go. It's strikes. We've got to get the Ice Fruit Saga strike missions done. And then I might try and squeeze in a few fractals at the end of the stream as well. Just for the content. I'm going to sell some stuff while you wait. While you wait for the group to fill, I'm just going to sell some of this trash. Get rid of these items. Okay. I need a vendor. Can we actually make shards into gold somehow? Probably is some way, isn't there? Get rid of these medallions. I need the basic salvage kit, don't I? To salvage all this stuff. I can just probably sell this though as well. Oh, no. I can't. Not in a non-annoying way, anyway. Okay. Let's go. We sell. We sell hard. Oof. Look at all that gold. Getting rich. Yes. Yes. A few champ bags in there. Lovely. Oh, over 200 in the pickup. Massive. Six gold for those. Very good. Boom. Yeah, it looks like we only... this. Yeah, this guy's a DPS mech as well, not a heal mech. So we only have uh, one healer. So we probably need um, Flying Guru to go heal mech for sure, actually, on Bone Skinner. Bone Skinner? Done. Oh, it feels so good to be able to open those chests. I can feel... Oh! And that is what we fucking need. 
Oh, I think I got that from Shiva Peaks Pass. Uh, this is one of the things that is so great about strikes. They have a lot of little medium high rolls, right? Um, so we just got an item that we can just flat out vendor for two and a half gold. That is what we need. And we can even make a bit more gold by selling it on the trading post too, actually. That's actually huge value. And strikes have a lot of these. You can get like a four gold drop, a two gold drop, a one gold drop here and there. Um, and it really improves your kind of uh, farming potential. It makes it exciting that to farm, right? It's good. Okay. And done. Oh, oh, nice. Are you kidding me? Four. Oh, yo, we got it. Nice. I like that. We did it. It was intense. It was an intense one. We made it happen. We made the magic happen, gamers. We made it. There you go. That's a good clean run of strikes, actually. I think I'm done with strikes now. I don't think I'm... I don't need to do Cold War, really. Uh, I haven't, I've already done it this week, so I don't need to do it again. Uh, so what is our goal going to be? Um, what have we got left? I think it's just going to be fractals, right? It's fractal time. That's what it is, of course. A few dailies in, just to kind of round things out. So, let's see if we have any groups. Good job, team. Let's get in there. Rack done. The Good job. Oh, oh no! Wait. No! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, the failure. There we are. We got it. We got it the second time, okay? Oh, no! Dude, oh! Are you kidding? Okay, this is embarrassing. That is actually just humiliating at that point, guys. Oh, my God. That is what... You, you, hate to, you hate to see that. You really do. See, I'm in such a rush. That's my problem, guys. We're in such a rush to make it happen, right? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, no! Oh, fuck it. I don't care. What even killed me there? I thought that shouldn't have killed me. It's fine. I'm going the other way. Look, we're just gonna just we're just taking the walk of shame, guys. Okay, we're taking the walk of shame, man. <laughs> walk of shame, dude. Okay, walk of shame. <laughs> it's not my day, all right. It's not my day. <laughs> there it is. Walk of shame. Gonna, I'm even gonna kill the bat. I want my revenge on this bat, dude. <laughs> Let's go. The bat has been destroyed. Making it happen. There it is. See, I redeemed myself. That's redemption right there, guys. Okay. Oh, look at that. Learn to revive your allies faster and with less penalties. Huge. I've got the horns. We can unlock that soon. Oh, look, nearly on auto loot. I am hyped for auto loot, gamers. I am ready for auto loot action. We should have that relatively soon. Need what? We need another three mastery points? Oh, that's easy. I don't even need that many. Yeah, we have ten, five, and then eight. And that means I'll have five left over, and therefore we need another uh, three. Oh, that's free, actually. That's so super free. Got him! Easy. Double break bar, and that's it. Okay, that was a successful set of Fractal Dailies. I think we're going to have to get into a bit of a habit of trying to get Tier 2s done. Looks like Tier 2 is actually very easy with this, even with this level of Agony, particularly if I have an Anguish Tier of Alba, which I can probably grab a few more of. So I think this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to try to get in every day to keep that farm train rolling. I got it all done just before Daily Reset too, which is convenient. I'll do the jumping puzzle and that'll be about it, I think. On Thursday... I'm going to convert to gems and we're going to buy the bags. I'm going to commit myself to actually getting the steam package. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Look, guys, I've actually, look, I just want to point this out here as well. Um, I've got to let everyone know. Guys, I have gone further. 700 gold in seven days or I am forced to delete my main. There it is. There's the tweet, guys. Hold me accountable. Hold me accountable, guys. Also, gamers, right now, 362 gold. We've got to get ourselves um, up to how much gold? 3,200. 
We need 1,027 gold. So a little bit under 700. It's going to be a big grind. It's going to be an exciting grind. It's going to be... It's free. Actually free. Totally free, guys. No problemo. We're in business here. Have to use a few tricks to get there. It's a lot. It's a lot. I admit it. It's a lot. I do think it's a lot. Do you know how confident I am that I can farm all of that gold? Do you want to know just how confident I really am? Let's lay this down now. Let me just... Let me... Allow me to be a little bit clear on how confident I am. This is a joke, free, hilarious meme farm. 800 gold. Boom. 800 gems, rather. Boom. And you know what? I'm buying the cheaper pack. That's the less, the lower value one. Right? I'm doing it. Yeah. The Steam Welcome Pack. Two bag slots. Bag expansions. XP boosters. Oh, if I dies. Not the end of the world here. You know, it's not bad value. But oh no. What if I miss out on the big one? What if now I've screwed myself? Oh wait. That will never, ever happen. Because this is a total free farm. 800 gems. Steam Welcome Pack unlocked done there it is no messing around only gaming only gaming only content boom there it is 20 slot bags quality of life obtained 2400 gems to go funnily enough that actually is a pretty nice uh, kind of pack to go for it basically just gives you um two free 20 slot bags but I want to, I bought that now because I you know I'm feeling a little confident, but also I kind of want to, you know, I want to make you guys think that I'm going to lose, right? You know, I'm going to raise the stakes here a little bit because if I miss out on that big deal, the elite deal, that's punishing. So doing it this way increases the risk that I miss out on that mega deal there, which is worth something like 5k gems or something ridiculous for like half the price. So now we could potentially miss out on that, right? We've got to keep this spicy, that Steam Elite Jumpstart package, 2,400 gems to go. So how much gold do I need to have at the end of today? That's the, the big question. Like, how much do I need? I have a hundred. Uh, how much more do I need? Let's, let's, uh, let's, you know, do the math, as it were. So I need 2,400 gems. I need 763 more. Oh, sorry, I need 660 gold. So at the end of today, I need to be getting very much towards 250, I would say is where I'd want to be. 250 gold, so around 140 today would be pretty good. That might be a little unrealistic, but the reason I set it that high is because I actually do have another 43 from stuff I already sold. So I do have that advantage. So basically, I need to earn around like 100 gold today. You're basically selling all materials? Yep, we're going to have to sell literally everything to make this work. All right, let's blast. Just killing this shack should give us a good chunk of value here. In general, doing hero points again is one of the things that people maybe don't think about, but it actually does give you loot. You get rares and stuff for doing it a lot of the time. Like, doing the one in uh, Sighting Harbor, like the uh, the Kirin, it's actually really good. So you might as well, if you're over here. Gets its uh, Define Spar back, but that's not really going to be an issue. Die, Chak. We can probably put this line down and it might move a little bit. Oh, well, no need actually. Can we do any more hero points? I guess there's one over here, right? We can go do that. The ones in uh, EOD are way better, though. You get rares and stuff. Although, actually, I guess we get uh, these recovered scar chests, right? Yeah, we got some rares there, too. Yeah, we got two rares. So that's two rares for doing a hero point, guys. It's very much worth doing. It's, it's actually one of the things that I kind of realized when I was doing this challenge. Is that I started... No I was, like, looking at my items a lot more. Because usually I don't really care about loot that much. Um, even when I was on my original account, when I was kind of progressing it. But uh, now that I'm like, ooh, you know, we've got to... We've got to figure out how to make some gold here. I started looking at stuff, and yeah, hero points are actually good. Uh, they're definitely, if you happen to be in the area, you might as well repeat them. Just like drop in there and just get a free hero point. It's actually definitely worth your time. Because um, they don't take very long, particularly if there are other players around, and you get some pretty good loot. So if you're just waiting for a meta event in some downtime, just boom, go for it. Easy hero point. Uh, let's see, what are we doing now? Um, I guess we can just go to the Octovine and wait. Because the Octovine is next, and we can just wait there pretty much. In general, one of the things that can be really good for us is just attacking monsters, right? Just farming mobs will be pretty good. And just try to be as active as possible, right? For example, right now, instead of AFKing for the event, I'm going to farm events, right? And you might go, well, that's not going to be that much, right? But maybe it earns me an extra 50 silver 
Or um, maybe not in that, right? Maybe it earns me an extra 30 silver every event. Th that's a lot when you add that up, right? I can earn a lot more gold um, if I'm just willing to be a little bit more active and engage a bit more. Octavine CM. Yep. Yeah. I got another mastery point. Very nice. Quick forge with fire um, while they're doing uh, the ooze pits. Then we do your car afterwards. Aha, very good. We have a small group of players. This meta event is incredibly weird, by the way. Um, it It's really easy to the point where you can actually solo it um, uh, very easily. The actual final bosses have almost no health, um, you know, and that's why they die ridiculously quickly. Done. Very good. So we get some efficiency there, and I'm just going to go and wait in uh, for Drakkar now. Look, we get a bunch of rares. Nice. That was good, actually. That was a very quick good blast. We get some rares. We get Amalgamated Gemstone, even more res. Oh. And we got a 50 silver trophy drop as well. Oh, yes. We're on fire. We're on fire, chat. Let's see. I'm going to get in there. Right. We're on a map. Perfect. Let's go. Drakkar. This is where a high roll could be really good. I could really use some high rolls here. Getting the Amalgamated Draconic Lodestone. Doing it every day. So, I mean, I should be able to get some good value there. But yeah, we need some, we need some big rolls uh, to help us along here. How much longer do you have? I have until um, Tuesday. Although I don't actually know when on Tuesday. Do you know when sales end, guys? Someone find out for me. Noon EST. Noon EST. Okay, so... Okay, so six my time. Oh, wait, no. That, uh, that's five my time. Oh, God. So I, I actually have to... Oh, I'm going to have to stream early. That's actually really bad. Uh, that's very bad for me. Because, yeah, that means I actually don't have the actual Tuesday to do it. It's unfortunate. It's going to get intense. It's going to get intense. What do you guys think, chat? Am I doomed? Or is it free? Broadly speaking. Legendary armor? Yeah, I'll probably do the raid legendary armor. That's very cheap, actually. It's the easy one to do. All right, let's do this. Loot, any high rolls? Oh, no high rolls. I could really use like an amalgamated draconic lodestone here, you know. Here and there, a little bit of this, a little bit of that would be great. Ooh, Palawada. Nice, it's a juicy one, actually. And they're all good as well. That's the thing, they're all good. Done. Now it's Dragon's End. That was a good run, actually. Fast run. Uh, there. We've got four minutes. Well, actually, ridiculously fast run. Aetherblade is going to be free after this one. Hooray! Ambergris unlocked. All right, that's it. All right, let's go. Let's go do some strike missions. It's strike time! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, honestly, doing dungeons wouldn't be bad. Like, doing some of the really easy dungeons, just blasting, that would be good. Maybe I'll do that, actually, at the end of the stream. Done. Three out of three strikes done. We get some more green profit shards. Get the loot. Ooh, exotic, rares, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, we get our gold, too. Get uh, two gold, which is perfect. Another two gold later on. Loot the strike chest. Get a barrel orb. Nice. Okay. Good job, gamers. Good job, team. All right, it's fractal time now to kind of round things off. Then maybe I'll do some dungeons afterwards. Tier 2, 46 to 50. Fuck it, let's do that. I don't mind grinding a few fractals. All right, here we go. Let's see if they'll actually tolerate me, because I have pretty low agony resistance here. Should be fine. Yeah, honestly, I found that people in fractals are actually really chill. They do not give a fuck. Hello, friends. They actually really don't care. If you have slightly scuffed AR, they're super chill about it, which is very nice. They seem to view it as like a difficulty increase rather than making it outright impossible, which I like. I've got tier of, uh, I've got tier of, oh shit, he knows. Can you up your AR? Well, I've increased it. I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> okay. I can do a fr uh, fractal easy peasy. Um, I will avoid the <laughs> agony. <laughs> Are they going to buy this? Oh, he says, okay, bro. Wait. Oh, no, he's going to kick me. Is he going to kick me? Wait. He actually says, he's like, fine. He's like, yeah. Okay, bro. He's down. 
No, I, th I think we're all just incredibly, um, we're all incredibly jaded. He just said, okay, but he actually meant it. It wasn't like a joke. He wasn't joking. <laughs> he actually said, okay, bro. <laughs> okay, well, I'm no, I'm not going to let him down, obviously. I mean, let's think about this. What fractals have we got here? Um, so, Sunqua Peak is, well, I'm, let me just finish the jump puzzle. We'll go and look. Sunqua Peak, all AR. Oh, no. That's not a good sign. Shortcut. Um, let's see. We're doing 46 through 50. Aetherblade is fine. Cliffside is fine. <gasps> Nightmare is not fine. Shattered Observatory is fine. And Song Peak is fine. So this is fine. Boop. Let's roll. We have an hour and 20 and I want to do the dailies. So it's fine. Why? Well, by the way, you might be asking... Um, why am I doing just fractals that aren't daily? Because at the end of the day, they still give you good loot. They're going to give me encryptions, rares, exotics, all that just kind of crap, right? That will just pile up. So even though these aren't dailies, it's still going to be delivering value to this account. Because I don't have that many, like, repeatable farms outside of, uh, outside of daily lock. So doing fractals is still going to be a good investment of my time. Particularly when they're so fast at low tip. And of course, it helps me level up my fractal level. So it's kind of a win-win, right? We want to get to tier three eventually. I love that this guy actually just trusted me, right? This guy is such a giga chad. He's like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. But yeah, the final daily. Yeah, uh, Songkwa Peak is the daily. So we're going to get that done as actual part of the tier twos alongside all the other stuff as well. So there are some agony attacks here that we have to be a little bit careful, of course, because I don't have any agony resistance, but shouldn't be too much of an issue. Shouldn't be a problem. When you see, and in general, this is actually telegraph, by the way. If when you see the bosses kind of start to glow purple, that indicates that agony is about to happen, or it's about to do an attack that might um, apply agony. So, kind of a fun fact there. So, you see, like that. That's um, usually. I think that's. I think there are some cases where that isn't the case, actually. But yeah, usually that means agony is incoming. Don't get hit, or you're about to get fried. Watch out for that one. Now, there is, there is going to be a slight issue with this fractal, is that I haven't tried to do, like, the thing where you skip. Uh, I well, basically don't get hit by the agony, right? Like, you have to go right on the edge of the capture circle here, so you don't get uh, pulsing agony. But I'll try. I will do my best. But I have not tried it before, so it's probably going to go absolutely horribly. There, there. Mama is so free, actually, on uh, normal mode. It's crazy. Like, this boss does nothing. Actually insane. So crazy. Oh, that's agony. Flux bomb. I forgot about the flux bomb. Ah, flux bomb. Is there agony on that? No, there isn't. Boop. I think you actually can just run. I think you can just run through Flux Bomb and it won't actually hit you. Or at least when it spawns on you, you can. Ooh. Suffer. The Ouroboros turns. <laughs> Vine and serpent entwined in me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wait, he doesn't do the other thing. Very nice. All right, let's try and be useful here. Ah! No! Oh, oh, fuck! I died instantly, okay? I need to be off to the edge here. I can actually be rezzed. They, they, I'm actually savable here. This guy could... Look, save me. Juice me. No, before the orbs. No! No! Okay, can we go right on the edge? Oh, we were doing it, we're doing it! Go on. Oh, do, wait, do these ones give agony? The Flux Bomb does! Do the little ones give agony? Maybe they don't here, actually. No, 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 no! Dude, people are a little messy with these Flux Bombs. Just dropping them willy-nilly. A little hazardous for me, okay? Oh, look, look, huge! Look at that, gamers. I'm a gamer. What can I say, guys? Uh, I'm a gamer. 
There we go. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I get healed? I survived. Cause it wouldn't really matter if I died there. You get revived anyway, right? So it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Good. Get the loot. Ooh, yeah. Encryptions. Boom. Oh, and we get the sprockets too. It's pretty nice. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay, I will let you do dungeons. If, uh, if, if people want to go do dungeons, we can get some dungeons done. Now, here's a bit of a fun fact here. Dungeons, actually pretty good gold. I think a lot of people tend to... Kind of like uh, forget about dungeons, neglect them a little bit, assume they aren't really that valuable. But actually, that's not really the case. They're, they're, people have forgotten about them because, well, I mean, they're, they're a little bit outdated and a little bit weird with how they work. And obviously, you know, there hasn't been a new dungeon for a very long time. But actually, dungeons are in fact a very good way of farming gold, right? Um, you know... They give you lots of liquid gold for actually completing them. Uh, raw gold, rather. You get good items. You get stuff you can sell. You get some stuff to buy gear and so on. For, uh, dungeons, actually good. And they're also very quick. So if you do them in relatively efficiently, you can actually generate yourself some serious income. But more importantly than that, if you get eight of them done, eight paths, which is not that long, actually. That's about an hour, maybe, or so of doing dungeons, because dungeons are very, very quick fire. You get yourself an extra five free gold on top of that. Very handy, very convenient, very big value. I'm just kind of bracing my inventory for impact uh, because the problem is with dungeons is that they do tend to spam you with a bazillion items. That is the only problem I have with them because they are going to fill your inventory with junk, which is unfortunate. You know, that's uh, it's not ideal. Dungeons, back to basics. Back to the start of the game, back to Core Guild Wars 2. That's what we're willing to do, guys. That's what we've got to do to make this challenge happen, to make this stuff work. We're going to have to use every tool that we have. Let's do it. Um, oh, no. I'm voting for that one. Let's do it. We do it vanilla. We play the Dungeons Vanilla Gamers. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then the dungeons can be a little bit scary if no one knows how they work, but... I'll tell you a little bit of a secret. They have been massively out power crept by the game over the years. So realistically, even if you're going in with pretty new people, like people who don't maybe have like good gear or good builds or whatever, I'm not going to lie, you're not going to have that too much. You're not going to have too much trouble, right? Like you should be able to get through this stuff. The exception to that might be a raw, maybe, and that's actually a maybe, even that dungeon, which are definitely a lot more punishing than the other ones for sure. But uh, it's still going to be relatively easy. If you've got five people who, you know, uh, kind of got their, got their head switched on, brain switched on, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. But they are fun. They're, uh, they, the way they play out is they're, they're very much um, uh, they're, they're very much like a speedrun experience. That's how I'd best describe them, to be honest. They are. It's very much all about getting through them as quick as you possibly can, right? And you know, moving really fast and pathing your way through, right? All that kind of stuff. You're very much like a speedrun, like a platform. It's like a platform game, which is very unusual, right? But that's how they are. It really uses the movement systems of Guild Wars 2 and you know, using teleports and portals and blinks and stealth and so on. Um, like a three D, big three D platformer is how I describe it. But the real key with doing dungeons is always going to be if you see a defiance bar, break it. The boss will probably not survive after that. Well. Yeah, the problem is if you don't break the defiance bar, the boss will probably mess you up a little bit. So watch out for that on the other end too, I suppose. We now get ready for the item spam. Here we go. You also, they did actually recently unify all of the dungeon currencies. There used to be a currency, like a token for every dungeon in the game. But now it actually got compressed all the way down to one, which is quite nice, actually. Very good for unlocking various runes, like certain runes that are very powerful, like Rune of the Monk, Rune of the Nightmare. These are actually bought for dungeon tokens. There are some other ways you can get them, basically by using the Mystic Forge. But if you don't want to do that, doing dungeons is actually a really good way to get extremely powerful runes. Rune of the Nightmare, very good for condition damage uh, builds, whereas Rune of the Monk is pretty much the best support rune right because it just gives you a massive uh, extra amount of healing so there you go that's all you gotta know about dungeons 
But yeah, if you want to know like just how fast you can go, a lot of the records, the speed runs for dungeons are like, you might be taking five minutes for a dungeon path. Some even lower than that, like two minutes or three minutes for a single dungeon path. That's kind of like the level of optimization you can get here. But even with a casual run, this is a very casual group I'm in right now. Um, you know, just like a bunch of random gamers. Uh, it's not really going to take very long whatsoever. And you'll see at the end that we will be rewarded for our efforts. How do you get runes from the forge? Ah, here's one of the illegal tactics. If you want to get uh, dungeon runes out of the forge, just put in a bunch of random cheap major runes um, into the forge and forge them and then keep doing that. And eventually you'll get yourself, um, you know, you'll get yourself any rune you want pretty much. Well, not every rune, but uh, a lot of the core runes, you can get those very easily by doing that. Takes a bit of time, it's a bit of a pain. Not too annoying with the reload feature on the forge these days, I suppose, but still mildly irritating, but yep. Do that and you'll get yourself dungeon runes. No problem. I don't really know dungeons very well, by the way, guys. That's why I'm just following these guys. They just went completely the wrong way. And honestly, I like that. We're lost. I have been stunned for 10 seconds by the Gravelings and destroyed. Well, that's just tragic, isn't it? I'm dead. It's okay, though. We can respawn. Well, not while in combat. Unlucky. That is something that is very uh, typical of dungeons, by the way. Dungeons are not... They're not exactly hard, but they're kind of old-school MMO. They're almost like a puzzle, right, in a way. They're like a puzzle, uh, puzzle. If you don't know how it works, if you don't understand the gimmick and how to approach it, it will kill you instantly, right? There is no way you can survive. There's a lot of stuff that kind of randomly one-shots you. A lot, wait, do we bug it? And this is probably one of the reasons why people don't do dungeons. They are a little bit buggy. We need to keep them away from the Skelk, I believe. There are a few coding issues. Dungeons were a really interesting part of Guild Wars 2's history because they were DOA. Right, which is really unusual for an MMO, right? Dungeons were dead content on arrival. They never really saw a lot of development, um, uh, a development whatsoever. There was one additional dungeon path added um, to the game. It uh, was the Aether Path, part of the living world, actually. But broadly speaking, um, they haven't really ever had that much love or changes, which does leave them in a slightly weird state sometimes they can be a little bit broken and not really work out super well but yeah um oh yeah sorry dungeons were extremely popular right um uh, to be clear i didn't mean that, that no one played them actually they were really popular a lot of people played dungeons they were like the best way to like farm gold and get and um, definitely a good way of get to get gear at the start of the game I should have been more precise. When I said they were DOA, they were DOA development-wise, right? In a development context. So in other words, um, ArenaNet just didn't really... They, they almost immediately replaced them with Fractals, basically, um, is, is what happened, right? Like Fractals were the follow-up to Dungeons or like the next iteration on Dungeons and Dungeons got abandoned. But they were essentially abandoned on launch outside of some very minor updates. But yeah. A bit buggy, bit gimmicky here and there. But you know, still good, still good. Definitely worth experiencing, particularly if you're into the story, by the way. There's a lot of kind of ambient lore and story within these dungeons. And if you're into that sort of thing, you certainly don't want to miss out. Particularly, right, it's a little bit late in the Zero to Hear a talk about this, I guess. But seriously, if you uh, want to play through the core story, like the personal story at the start, you really actually want to do the story mode dungeons while you're playing the story. I kind of did this because in a normal MMO, right, you might play through the story, then go and do like the end game dungeon content. However, that actually doesn't make sense in Guild Wars 2 because you miss out on extremely major and extremely important plot points if you um, skip this stuff, right? You do not want to skip this, actually. Um, the Well, you know, the explorables a little bit less so, but certainly the main story dungeons, it's really important to the main plot of the core game uh, that you actually play through the dungeons. So yeah, there you go. Otherwise, you're going to be very confused with a few developments that happen down the line that will just magically be the case. The game kind of nudges you towards doing them, um, but, you know... Not that much. It sends you a mail, basically, but realistically, who cares?
But as you can see, we've got some gold for doing that. Experience as well, obviously. They actually give a lot of XP, as you can see, right? Some really good experience there. And we get some additional, just gold, crafting materials, right? All this kind of stuff. Random things to salvage, random items. Easy. And there you go. It wasn't that fast. Even though the NPC was being a little bit weird and semi-bugging out, we got it done fast. Easy. Dungeon Frequenter. As you can see here, Dungeon Frequenter. Five gold and 150 tales of dungeon delving coming up. All right, TA. Oh, wait, I'm going to need you guys to open that for me. Get in there. Yes. Level 55 dungeon explore mode. Goodness. That's actually a fun thing about this, right? A really fun thing about Twilight Arbor is that, of course, uh, and well, dungeons in general, is that you get scaled down. So they're very much designed to be played at level 80. Oh, we could do, we actually could do Aetherfarth, yeah. Do you guys want to do Aetherfarth? Yeah, maybe, let's do Aetherfarth, guys, let's go. Let's do Meme Path. Yeah, we can, can we, can we high roll there as well? I think we can somewhat high roll. I'm not sure it's as good as it used to be. We need a lot of reflects, don't we? Because you got to... Oh, dude, this fucking fight. Holy shit. This is so troll. Oh, my God. Right. I know who I'm going to stop. Let's go. It is going to be the Aether Blades. Level 80 dungeon. The only dungeon to be added to the game post-launch. There are a few mini-games here that are going to get a bit weird. We're going... Wait, actually, we can do... Ooh, we can do Shielded the Avenger, right? Shield of the Avenger will be great, because we can do, like, three little mini-bubbles. Why is the music so sad? Holy shit. Kaith, stop talking. Let's go, yeah? There's a lot of poison plants here. We just cleanse the condies. No problem. Man, wow. It's been a real long time since I've done this. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, whoa. It has been a long time since I've done Aetherpath. Ah, the ooze. It is time for the ooze. So this mini game, I would actually say it's somewhat um, infamous, right? Like, you have to escort two oozes at the same time to open a gate. Meanwhile, little lava elementals will start spawning all over the place, trying to kill the ooze. Also, I think you can kill the ooze by accident as well, which obviously isn't ideal. So yeah, it's a bit of a mechanic. It kind of requires you to not just smash your face into it. You need to understand how it works. Again, like I mentioned earlier, dungeons, you need to understand how they work and what they do. But yeah, we're going to do some fun firebrand stuff. Yeah, and the thing is, is that you, you kind of have to like lure the, you have to cover yourself in ooze pheromone to like lure it through this little mini maze thing, right? That's basically the, uh, the goal we have to do. Well, that's how it works anyway. Okay, so yeah, the goal, basically the goal is here to fight these bosses, Sparky and Slick. We're going to have to cover ourselves in ooze juice and lure the ooze along this formidable pathway while covering it in reflects. And I will do that with Shield of the Avenger. And of course, Tome 3. Is this a renewed focus job? Probably is, just so we can actually reload. Okay, here we go. Ah, yeah, you can also like push the ooze too, right? So here we go. We need to, okay, I'm covered in ooze attractant. Oh, no. Right, let's go. The ooze is now following me. I'm going to have a projectile block field up here. I'm going to put another one here. I'll try and almost like alternate this as it comes through. And all we got to do is just not kill the ooze. Very important. Come on, ooze. Let's roll. Okay, good. Oh, block. No. Come on, ooze. You can make it, buddy. Ooze. Oh, look. My gameplay, I don't want to use the word immaculate. I feel that feels eager to... No, don't fuck it up, guys. Get that ooze in. Okay, we did it. Nice. <laughs> have ah, yes. Oh, man. This mechanic is weird, right? Yeah, you have to make them use their electric attacks on this to break the shield and then kill it. Yeah, with this holographic striker, right? Oh, man. This is a pretty... This is where the gimmicks get out of control, you know? Yeah, we need these mobs here. There we go. Yeah, now we're breaking through it. The holographic thugs. Line of Sight is the best part of dungeons. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a pretty cool thing. You know, it's an interesting game mechanic to be aware of. Boom, done. Ah, yes. It is puzzle time. How does it actually work? I can't really remember how it works. Cool environment, though, isn't it? 
You want self on this platform? I don't have that. Oh no. Ow. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Um, you have- I think you have to like get- yeah, you have to like get onto the platforms, right? Ow. Ow! Holy shit. We have to get there and then that activates the next one, right? I think it- yeah, it activates them in sequence. Yeah, you stand on it, then it activates the next one. And you have to climb up- oh, what the fuck? Ow. Fortunately, I'm playing Firebrand, so I can't die. Right, let me actually see here. I need to get over there. Off we go! Charge! Oh! Oh no! Wait, I have a negative charge. What's going on? Oh, I see, you have to- Ah, yeah, you have to have not- Oh, yeah, yeah. You have to have not trolled, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Yes, yeah, so if you get, uh, juiced, you can't go on the platform until you've been de-juiced. Kind of forcing you to at least execute somewhat sensibly. Right, that guy's staying there then. Fine, I'm out of here then. Okay. So it's moving in this type of direction. What's going on here? Aha! Oh, unfortunate. Oh, fucking great. That's not good. We have to wait a little bit. You have to be a bit quicker then. Alright, hang on. Okay, go! Go! Free! Free! My friends. That's why it electrocutes everywhere, right? Because it wants to make it wants to force you to do it correctly. Wait, can I get off this platform? Why are we all standing here? Do I actually have to be here? Is this necessary? What? Easy. Expert gamer. Hooray! Is that it? That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you need to lure this one all the way through, right? Yeah, 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 I understand, yeah. We need to not kill it, though. It needs to be on the door, doesn't it? Okay, lure it through to the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. So make it go over here. Get over here. Come on, Mr. Necromancer, do your thing. You got to aggro it? Oh, pull it, that'll do. Right, don't die, though. Right, and then it needs to die over here, doesn't it? Yeah, here we go. There we go. Oh, look at that puzzle, guys. Classic dungeon fun. Hack attack. Aha! The final boss. This probably hasn't aged super well, has it? Is it going to die in one burst? Let me get a cutscene here, right? Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, we're, we're not, we don't even see the boss, do we? We have to actually, yeah, we have to break all the generators. I see. Come on, you. Get over it. Come on. You know you want to. No, not over there. Over here. Oh, I guess that'll do, actually. Die. There we are. So to blow these up, destroy the generators, easy peasy. Can I just taunt these over here? I guess I can, right? Go on the safe zone so I don't feed. Very nice. Very nice. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. We did it. The clock heart is unleashed. It's a thorn heart, but also it's a clock. That's crazy. I think that attack actually like insta-kills you, right? I think. Yeah, this shit, those. I think, let's see, they hit pretty hard, right? I guess maybe not. Blow it up, let's go! Oh, well, I guess I don't hit that hard. Yeah, but this shit, I think this fucks you, right? Or like this a slam attack it does, like a full one shot. Ah, uh, we failed the one burn. That's unfortunate. You hate to see that. Yeah, that, look at that. Oh, well, I guess it's not even a one shot. Now I've got to get it with the holographic striker. Here we go. Let me just kill it, right? Yep, that'll do it. Um, builds while Aetherite... Wait, we can actually damage it a little bit, can't we? Oh, yeah, 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 we can. We just can't. Yeah. yeah, as long as it doesn't have full stacks, we're good. We're good. Guy over here just entered instantly. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Get in here, Lion Guard. <laughs> Think how much actually effort went it. This is like very scripted, right? There's, this is a. It's really interesting. This is a proper trip down memory lane. This is the evolution of Guild Wars 2. You will not see content like this in Guild Wars 2 anymore. It's very different. A lot more kind of classical RP almost, right? And there we go. We got our five gold. Very good. Very, very nice. That'll do for now. I don't need any of that. We don't need this. Will this actually sell? I feel like it will. We'll do a little discount. 650. There you go. Easy discount on the fell sprout of dreams. But that is just going to about wrap things up. A lot of kills there for a lot of uh, free materials. Very nice. Aether path down. Okay. Um, that is actually going to be just about it um, for the end of this kind of uh, first day of the Omega Gold Farm thing. I'll also just open up all these uh, all these bags. Bit of a fun thing there. Rounding out with some dungeons at the end. We love to see that. We really, really do. Fantastic stuff. Um, let's just give it a quick refresh and see where we are. Let's see how much gold we have made in one day. So we started at a little bit below 200, I believe. Um, so a bit below 200 gold. Let's see where we are today. Come on. The suspense is killing me. 324. So we've actually earned 124 gold today, approximately. Maybe a little bit over that. Uh, and we haven't even converted all the currencies. Like, I got over 1,000 volatile magic. We've got all these dungeon tokens. 1,000 dungeon tokens we can maybe do something with um, as well. Loads of good stuff, right? So big money has been made today, my friends. Huge gold. Right, um, so first order of business is getting as much time-gated shit done as humanly possible. Um, now, of course, I'm starting a little bit late today, um, but good news, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we should be able to get this sorted easy peasy. All right, uh, gamers, if you're not in the squad, just keep trying, you'll make it in. You will get in here. Got some, um, got some pretty good... Uh, we've got some pretty good uh, stuff here, right? We made some decent progress so far. We've still got a lot of daily stuff to do that will uh, juice us pretty hard. But for now, let's just get this Dragon's End done. How long have I got? It's 10 right now. I have three hours before reset. I want to make sure we get as many fractals done as possible. I think I do fractals after this, I think, is what we're going to do. And then try and hit all the main key meta events is probably the way to go. With some of the stuff. I think I am going to have to actually plan what currencies I'm going to convert. I kind of want to do all of the currency days, uh, currencies in one go, so that I can kind of make it cohesive for, for the zero to year, right? I can demonstrate currency conversion. So we've got Volatile Magic, Tyrion Defense Seals. Is there a good way to convert this um, uh, dungeon stuff, guys? There probably isn't, right? Uh, we can do blue shards. We can do blue shards, actually. We can just buy gold with those. Um, with that, that should be pretty easy. Um, we have, yeah, these Imperial Favors, Laurels. I'm probably not going to do Spirit Shards. Spirit Shards are a little bit too boring, right? 10 plus gold today. Yeah, uh, I do need... I've got a bit of work to do, right? Uh, we've still got to get a bit of gold done. Cause, but, that, yeah. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to go do Fractals now. It's time. Fractal Dailies. Good job, team. Because I already did Aether Blade, so we don't need to go do Aether Blade. There's a Champion uh, thing over here. Let's go get that. Very nice. Very, very good. Wait. Was this the right Fractal? I didn't get my wreck chest. Oh no! Wait! Oh yeah, oh no, I've, I've actually fucked up here, haven't I? Um, I can't do wrecks, can I? Y ah! Yeah, I can't do fucking wrecks, man, because I don't have the mastery for wrecks. Oh no. Well, that's just unfortunate. It's, uh, you hate to see that. Short stream? Yeah, we're doing a short stream today. I'll maybe go six hours, maybe another hour, maybe another hour and a half, actually. I might play until reset. That's probably makes sense, because that means I can get as many daily time gates um, bypassed as possible. So yeah, I'll probably play until reset every day, just to make sure, because I need to squeeze the juice out of this one. Tomorrow is going to be weird. I'm going to try and stream early, blast loads of farming, and then after blasting the farming, then I've got to do monthly AT. Oh, man. And tea time on Sunday as well. Oof. Dude, I'm a little bit fucked here, actually. There we go. And I'm just trying to get as many of the daily time gates done, and I'll probably play through to reset on all of these challenge days, except 
for Monday. On Monday, buckle up, gamers, right? Uh, because I am probably going to stream from 6 my time to 6 a.m. Because um, the sale ends, right? The sale ends when I start streaming on Tuesday. So I actually don't have Tuesday to complete this challenge. It's actually worse than I thought. Right? Because not only have I did I have to take a break for HTCM, I had to take a break to do a monthly AT and tea time as well. So I can't get the hours in there. I also don't have Tuesday at all. So I actually have like a, a one less day than I thought. So we've got a pump. Boom. To quaddle, done. That's pretty much all the stuff I want to do. Ah, yeah, we're actually up to 382 gold. So I started at about 320 today. Uh, so I've only got 60 gold today. But bear in mind, I didn't have nearly as many hours. I basically, I've only been playing for around four hours on this account today. So around 15 gold an hour. We did it. And that's going to be daily reset as well. Wow. Love to see that. Very good. Champ bags activated. Easy. Ooh, oh, that's nice. I just got the 15 laurels. That's some good timing. Shame it's not the uh, the 20 laurels, obviously. We're not getting the chest of loyalty or anything like that. But that is good. 36 laurels. That's actually a good amount of gold, right? That's what, 30 gold or so? Something like that. So we'll do some currency. I think tomorrow it's currency conversion time. Uh, we'll do all of that stuff. Oh, it's going to be great. It is going to be great. You love to see it. Volatile magic. Tyrian defense seals, imperial favors, laurels, and karma as well with eternal ice shards. Oh, oh! I, honestly, selling all of this is going to be quite frustrating. I'm not going to lie, uh, because holy shit, have we got a lot of different items to sell? I really should get going on it pretty soon because obviously not everything's going to sell immediately. I don't want to be in a rush. That's not going to be good. But yeah, let's get some stuff selling here. I'll sell these lodestones as well. But yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm definitely going to liquidate almost everything I've got. Almost everything I've got is going to get sold. Otherwise, we won't make it. It'll be a truly tragic scenario right now. Sell the garlic bread. That's gone. Honestly, I could do with some garlic bread right now. I do like a bit of garlic bread. I do. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Let's keep selling. Oh, that's some good value there, actually. Undercut. Undercut! See, this is why I'm doing this so early, by the way. Imagine I'm doing this like one hour before the uh, elite pack is gone, right? That's going to be very sweaty, see? But now I'm teaching all of you some responsible Guild Wars 2 financial planning, right? If you want to buy something, like in the future at some point, you're like, wow, I can't wait to buy this item. Well, let me give you some advice. Don't leave it until two minutes before it's over, okay? Go ahead and give yourself a nice amount of time. Very relaxing, plenty of time right? Uh, no stress, big relaxation. This is the way. Like, this is definitely the way you want to go about doing it. I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to, obviously, but again, things were disrupted, so that's why. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy, gamers. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.